Hey guys, what's up? This is Thor Oldenson24, and right now we have another Green Lantern Movie Masters review for you uh, from the Parallax Wave. Uh, that one kind of, you know, sped up in the beginning and then died out real fast at the end. Now, uh, I, I've been buying these online because I did want to build Parallax. Um, as far as my uh, region is concerned, I only got five of the eleven figures that would have came. Uh, so I've been, uh, you know, looking online. I got some on uh, Amazon and stuff. But uh, so here's one of the ones that I didn't find that I bought online. I got it in the mail uh, yesterday. Uh, this is the Green Lantern Isamat Kull. If I'm saying that right, uh, he's fairly straightforward. Um, I just I, I love these movie masters, you know, a lot more than the you know DCU or whatever because of the paint jobs and the details and everything. It's just so cool. So when I get you know everything together, there will be a uh, Green Lantern shelf. Uh, in the detail because these guys just look sick okay so you know you all the detail that metallic green that's what I love about these and the sculpt you know this is you know it looks to me like a dinosaur so I mean you can see you know his uh, scales there's like rigids he's got like in a an abomination style back here you know, with the tail, he's got the long hands like uh, Nakiloi. You know, in fact, I think these might be Nakiloi's hands. Nope. I mean, Ratlab fan. Hold on one sec. Let me. Real quick. Comparison. They're very similar, but not nearly the same. These are thick with claws. Uh, Rotlap fans was more frog-like. They had like suction cups on the hands, but I couldn't wait to get this. This is actually, you know, the the one that I wanted the most <coughs> out of them. You know, he's uh, he's a great-looking lantern. I'm not sure what sector he's from. I'm sure you other, you know, die-hard lantern fans can tell me all of that, but. You know, in it, in, in you know more senses, he kind of looks like a. You put some horns on him, he could be a predator hound. <laughs> so, yeah. So uh, his limbs are, maybe this one just, you know, was bent from manufacturing, but you know that looks kind of funny. So paint apps, you know, a plus. Good job, Mattel. Articulation. And it's kind of lacking, you know, but, you know, we can, you know, look over, um, look over, uh, you know, more articulation for, you know, more detail. So as far as articulation, his head reluctantly goes 360 degrees. He also says his jaw opens that far. That's cool. He's he has uh, shoulder joints that can go 360 degrees as well as in and out. He's got a single jointed elbow, and there's a pivot on that elbow. He also has 360 at the wrist and uh, pretty far forward and back on the wrists. He has uh, waist or um, well, let's say lower ab articulation. Uh, his legs go forward, back, and in and out. He's got a single jointed knee that moves just barely. Uh, no ankle articulation, as you could probably tell. You know, with these kind of feet, and his tail also has a joint that can move like that. 
So uh, all in all, I, I say good job. I love, love the Movie Master Green Lanterns. I am getting more. In fact, I got uh, more today. Uh, I, the ones that I got today, you can't, you can't really review, because there's there's really nothing to them at all. Like I got the uh, the Corona. You know, let me see if it'll. You know, you, it's just a big cloth. You know, probably no articulation at all. And then the other one I got was the parallax head and lower torso, which that one came in a box by itself rather than coming with figures because I guess the pieces are just so big. But, uh, you know, I'm cool with that. So, as always, until next time, ah! crash and burn, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, that's the uh, motto here. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, um, I do have more figures to review, I will be getting them at you soon, uh, you know, and as always, this is Thor Odinson 24, signing out.